everyone, my name is Vanessa. So a couple months ago, I shared a Dollar Tree haul with you all and I shared that I had purchased some of the back to school supplies, which were the calendars. So this is the August through um, the 2018, 2000 to July 2018. So August 2017 to July 2018, sorry about that. So I picked up a pink folded one and I picked up a black folded one and I'm going to show you and I actually purchased one of the binders as well, the drop um, binders that are one inch from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to show you what I do with it because I said I was going to, or I always organized my yearly binder for the children. I only have two, but it's still hard to keep track of some of the activities and everything that's going on throughout the year and after school and all that stuff. So what I do is, oh, and I actually purchased these as well, and I think I shared that. They are just clear zipper pouch, but they're binder hole punched already. And I label them with my kids' names, with one of those little Mabel's labels, so they're Scarlet's. And I'm going to show you what I do with them, so here we go. Basically, the binder is empty, super simple. And I then, I put one of these, so this one is going to be my son's because it's just black and then i'll use my, the pink one for my daughter so i will slip in these as their dividers and then um i might turn the camera down just so i can share a little bit better so what i use these for is to communicate money anything now the school's kind of doing through an online cash system but there's always the odd time where you have to send in money for a fundraiser or there might be money donation for something else like they'll have a Terry Fox run and then you just have to send some money in or something like that that can't be done online. Most things are now being transferred over but just in case I have to send something I'll stick a little envelope put the stuff in here and this will just go in my daughter's backpack or my son's backpack and off it goes and then it comes home again. So that's my way of keeping things organized and the beginning of the week, if I have to get cash out, I bring it home, take it out of my wallet, plop it in here, and it stays just like this in my binder. It's the little things in life that sometimes save you a headache, right? And the more organized we can be, the easier it makes for us. We already have enough things to worry about. So there's my, my daughter's section. So here these years, what I've done is I've kept my older folder, so the last couple years, and I love, love, love using this as, as soon as her teacher sends the monthly calendar, I slip it in here and it goes right up against the other one. So there I have quick access to seeing when her library day is. I haven't received it yet, but I wanted to show you once I did, but then again, it might have the school information and that's probably not a good thing to put online. So uh, it'll have her library day, her gym days, or whatever their schedule is, so I'll put it in there. And then if we have other events that are going on outside of that calendar, sometimes I will put this as her extracurricular stuff, especially with girl guides and all those things. There are going to be so many events for the fall. So I try to keep them separated. This will be her school. This will be her outside of school. And then sometimes if there's extra little things that I'll just jot them down here. There goes my son's money baggie, communication baggie along with his agenda. And then his after school curriculum oh no sorry this is my daughter's there goes his after school curriculum and then if he now in grade five i think it changes a little bit because he's in upper elementary uh then uh i'm not sure if he'll get a monthly calendar if there's something online that i can print out then i will quickly print it out slip it in here because that's what i've been doing for the last couple of years i just love that having access to knowing when their gym days and all that stuff is. So that will go in there, then his after school curriculum and his little money bag. I then add some page protectors, just simple page protectors you can pick up at the Dollar Tree as well. Certain things that they're supposed to do, like there is a login system that they're supposed to work off of and they'll get codes. I will definitely slip them right in here. They're protected. If the kids need them, I can just pull them out, take them to the computer and they don't get crumpled up or wet or marked up. You know how little little one's hands are. But um, so they'll just stay in here and one a bunch of them will go in my son's side and then a few of them in my daughter's side. So it's so easy, but it's just something that I find works so perfectly for our family. And um, you can decorate the front. You can slip something in and make it fancy, but it's, I just stick it right there next to my oven and um, it's a quick grab and check what's going on. and. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little helpful tool. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more DIYs like this. And I look forward to catching you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.